Hello and welcome to the showcase video for the release of Xanchi's Magic Doors 2.0. It's a new version with new developed features which replaces the first version of Xanchi's Magic Doors completely. This is the showcase video to show you in deep what Xanchi's Magic Door handles for you and how easy it is to set up. And I will also make a second video for the deep explanation of the configuring a configuration of the uh, uh, script and a last video, the third one, which goes in deep to coding and scripting so that you can maintain and develop and extend and uh, modify the script by yourself. The first thing is um, RPG in a box can also handle doors out of the box. So you have to edit your doors. So I have a first one, which is without any scripting at all. You see there is no script included. And the second is with my script and a single property, which uh, defines there is a blocking direction. So if you look from the center to the door and you open it, uh, the, it blocks to the right side. So this tile would be blocked while opening the door. If you have questions about uh, the gray boxes, uh, look my tutorial video number 10 that explains it in deep. And I don't want to spend too much time at this. So let's jump back to the map editor. So I will place the standard door without scripting there and my door at this position. And then I have to modify the navigation lines. And as you can see, my door is also equi uh, is just equipped with the scripting. So you can put the script and all properties to your object model on, and you never have to change anything at all. You can place it everywhere in the map and it works pretty well. So with the normal door, you have to select the two tiles and the door and then press right and create a door. So now we also have a script connected to this door, which handles the behavior of the door. So let's test it in the game. So now we are at our testing place and you can open the door as usual. So you can go through the door, but there is an unnatural thing. You can go through the panel at all, and I doesn't like it. And this is a cause, a reason for uh, defining my own script. So instead of this, my script let you pass the door if you open it, but you cannot pass the panel. So this way is blocked, if you see. And if I close the door, the door closes, and I cannot go through the frame. So additional. Um, in the normal case, if I stand in the frame, the go opens through my body. So in my case, the door script um, recognizes that I am standing in the way of the frame and of the panel. So my character goes back. You see, that's a debug statement. It's not included in the release version. So don't worry. So the same while closing the door. It also recognizes if I stand uh, by the side. So I go doesn't go a step back. Instead, I go a step to the side. And this direction is determined by using the navigation path. So it's um, not as error thrown. And you can deactivate this behavior at all just by configuration. So next, let's go a bit deeper in the showcase. So change the scene. We are now in a project called Error, which is a project from Lord Irish from our Discord channel. It's a very interesting project with ambient light and something else, and it's very atmospheric. And he's an old, uh, he's a, a one-man indie project, and he has a, a special case for his doors. So I helped him to fix some bugs with the door script at all, and I um, included these features to my script. So I have a, a bulk of new features now. So this door opens very slowly to the top. And if you go instantly through the door panel, you hit your head. So that's not good. So we need a delay between opening the door and connecting the paths. Also, this is a very special case because uh, the first he used special animation names, not open and close. He has also special sound names, which he want to use. And um, the door is um, put to the back where all my backs are at the front. So I um, found several properties to define the behavior and switch rotations. And so I will explain uh, next. 
and this door closes automatically after five seconds. So let's jump in the game and we will test this door. So if you are interested in this game, I will put the link in the description so you can join this court and see his news. He rec commonly posts uh, once a day an update about the development state of game. So that's the famous door. And if I open the door, I cannot through it until it's completely open, you see? And after a few seconds, the door closes automatically and my character doesn't go back because it would be very unnatural and ugly. So you can configure even this door with all these features on and place them everywhere in the map. So let's come to the features included. Okay. You can just by defining some properties like this. I will explain it in the deep video about configuring the door. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So you just have to download the script and put it in your script folder. That's it. So open your script folder. Where's the script folder here? With open folder location. Put the Xanchi's magic door standalone file there and you can use it everywhere. You configure your each model once and you can put it everywhere. So okay. You can change the direction of the doors. As I said, mine is in the front and Lord Iris' door is in the back. So I can flip this for the programming stuff to determining the paths and something else. I can disable the auto move character if you stand at the tile of the door itself. You can um, override the names of interactions, uh, interaction animations at every time. You can uh, predefine the door as opened by default, not like this, which is closed by default. So the first time you will close it. And um, you can define a pending time, which is the time between opening the door and reconnecting the navigation paths uh, while opening the door. And you can uh, define an open time. So the door closes automatically after 10 seconds. You can redefine the open and close animation names to every time. You can uh, reconfigure the open and close sound files, and you can define in which direction the door should block, where this door wouldn't block anything. So download the script, uh, try it out. If you find any errors, um, send me a message, write me a comment, send me an email, something else. I will fi fix uh, all errors. Um, caused by my features, but hopefully you understand that I wouldn't implement every single little feature for very special cases. So if you have a good idea, just talk with me, come to the Discord, let's talk about this. Maybe I implement this and you're free to use it. If you like the script and it, if it helps you a lot, um, it would it, I would feel very honored if you recommend me and, or if you notice me mention me in your uh, credits about your awesome game. So have fun with it, try it out. And I hope we will see you in, again in one of the next episodes. So that's it. Bye.